Hi guys, it's Summers here and welcome along to episode 68 of the Solihull Moors career mode series here on FIFA 20 and we are into the month of April. For this episode we will face off against Bradford, Coventry, Doncaster, Bolton and Shrewsbury. The played games in this episode will be Coventry, Bolton and Shrewsbury. Two of those obviously being local rivals and Bolton are in the chase for promotion. So let's get on into it. Okay, so this running is going to be incredibly important now. We've just seven games left in the league. We face off here away to Bradford who are playing in a 4-1-4-1 formation. We've got loads of fatigue in the squad so I've had to have a massive rotation but nonetheless we've managed to get ourselves a 2-1 victory here with Gibson getting a consolation goal for Bradford near the end. Rossi scoring us a penalty in the 40th minute and he keeps on bagging those goals in the simulated games whilst Graham grabbed us a goal in the 70th minute. Here we go then in the first played game of the episode and it is a home game here at Damson Park and it is a local rival in the form of Coventry City that we face off against. Let's go get a decent result here boys and we are featuring almost a full strength line up here for this game too. Donald tries to get up and prevent that coming through. Shipley off to Allen and back into Allen. Fed into the striker here. Campbell does an exceptional job of getting back and preventing the striker getting in on goal. Camped into our own half here as Coventry take the first, take a corner. And that just drifts wide from the header. Coventry stamping their authority all over this game in the opening few moments. Interception there from Marshall as well. Cutchen under pressure straight away, gives the ball up to Allen, Mason throws it into the box and Patterson gets there. Oh, it's, it's a mess, it really is. But we do break away finally with Taylor. And he looks to feed it out wide for Alic, who's burst into the box. Gets there, feeds it off to Taylor, chips it to the back post. And Marshall gets there at the back post. What a fabulous goal from Marshall. To get a header in from that angle is astonishing. And another goalkeeper has pushed it over the line in the end. But it is a really good header nonetheless to direct it towards the goal. And really against the runner play, Solihull take the lead here. McCutcheon into Taylor. Goes round the corner for Alic. Looks for that back post again. And the keeper has to tip it over the bar because Patterson had a run on him. Hampton chips it back. It's Shipley on the ball now. He goes inside to Harding, off to Hampton. He's got in behind. Thomas does so well there to come out at the feet of the player. Has to be strung there to beat Darbo. Knocks it inside for McDonnell. One more to Taylor, who slides it past. And it's the second attempt on goal by Solihull. And the second goal. They are hanging on by a thread at every moment with the pressure that Coventry are applying. But they've still come out on top here, having got two goals in the game. Lovely finish by Taylor into the bottom corner. Two nil. Batch of substitutes coming in for Solly Hall now as Rossi comes on as striker. Nystrom will move across to that right hand channel. Up over the top, Campbell gets there. Great piece of play. Oh, and that is a poor, poor piece of play by Bueno, who's come on to fill in at right back. Seeing as McCutcheon was exceedingly fatigued and he's just gifted Coventry a gateway back into this game. 2-1 and we really now have to try to absorb the pressure that's going to be coming. 
Coventry with one last gasp effort, I think, to try to get a point out of this game. Well out. Drops clear. Patterson gets there. Brennan will chase it, but that's going out for a throw. Lumps it downfield, knowing that we've got the result on the board and the victory that we needed for this running. 2-1 result here is a godsend at this point in the season. So Solihull on the road again here against Doncaster this time, who are playing in a 4-2-3-1 formation. And it's a 1-0 victory with McDonald getting the crucial goal in the 17th minute for Solihull. That will do us a world of good on this running towards the end of the season. Here we go then, fourth plays seventh here at Damson Park today as Solihull take on Bolton Wanderers. Marshall nearly intercepting, but the ball comes out now to Bandari and he fires that down the line to Bunny. Marshall using his pace there to get back into position. Campbell. Murphy. Kutcher there trying to take the ball away from Bunny. Ball's delivered in to the back here. And McCutcheon does good work to see Politic away. Donald into Nystrom. Seen the hand up from Taylor. Taylor fires it back into Nystrom and he takes it first time. Having just signed a new contract with the club, he strikes for the first time in a while to be fair gets himself a goal here in a very important match towards the end of this season three points here for Solihull can help cater catapult them towards the top two spaces three points for Bolton will drag them into the playoff places it is a six pointer this one Murphy back into Dodo Trying to prevent the ball coming in from Bandare. Campbell back into Bandare. There's McCutcheon to steal it away. McDonnell, Marshall back into McDonnell. Feeds it through for Taylor. And on the overlap is Alic. Uses his pace to get away from the defender. And that is an absolutely awful strike from the Bosnian. Goes one more for Taylor, but Roland in the midfield area there. He's having a really good game. Sunderland go 1 0 up against Luton. Embleton, a man who we know only too well, gets himself on the score sheet for Sunderland. Good ball in. Dodo. Do. Oh, that is good work by Marshall. And he sees it down the line to McCutcheon. Puts back inside, fields it off for Peterson, comes back to McDonnell and fires it up towards Nystrom. Just manages to retain possession and fires it on to Alic. But Emmanuel gets in between him and the ball and fires it out of play. McDonnell into Peterson, harassed by Rowland. Donald into Taylor, round the corner for your man Nystrom. Oh, and he's back. Nystrom is back. What a goal by the Swede. Round the corner to him, and he just dinks it over the onrushing keeper to make it 2 0 right on half time. That is a delectable goal from. Bjorn Nystrom. Come out into the second half, mindful of the fact that Nystrom is now on a hat trick and will be sniffing out another goal in this second half. Get in there, Campbell. Oh, just wide of the target but he did get there literally by a nose P 
ping pong football there that doesn't lead to anything for Bolton in the end as Kelly comes away with it and meanders himself down the pitch. The keeper manages to get himself a throw in and will quickly head back to his goal. And Bolton have been able to prevent us having much of a say on goal in this second half. Oh, Roland has made a mug of McCutcheon, delivers it to the back post and his brother is able to get it clear. Manuel has got forward, Politic now drops the ball in and Patterson's there to put it out of play for the corner. Home fans applauding Solihull here as they know we're just moments away from a 2-0 victory that could help us towards our aim of being promoted. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Referee decides to put Bolton out of their misery. They weren't going to get back into this game at this late stage as Solihull had already done the damage early on. A 2-0 victory. Oh, that pass inside, Nystrom's dropped off his man, turns and takes a shot from distance. Hits Beckles on the way through, but it is at least an effort on goal early doors. All out wide, comes to Goldburn, ex Warsaw man. Oh, that's a nice ball inside and Cummings has absolutely smashed that out of nowhere. Shrewsbury are ahead. That is a wonder goal. Goldburn delivers it in to the pocket behind. My goodness, that is a wonder goal. Where the hell did that come from, Cummings? 1 0. Donald, oh, off the line. Drops to do who, not the man you wanted it to drop to. And Campbell then loses possession to Noburn. But does come in and grab the ball away from Goldburn. Been all Shrewsbury since they scored that goal. Just can't get a hold of the game. Liver deep. Thomas does well to come and get it. Volley from distance, and my God, what a volley that was. That's an astonishing volley from about 25, 30 yards out, and Thomas does well to see it and push it over the bar. Taylor then goes out to help out, comes inside to Walker, knocks it into Cummins, who's already got himself a goal in this game, checks it back out to Walker and goes again. Oh, it's a fumble and there's the second goal for Shrewsbury and it couldn't happen at a worse time right on the stroke of half time Shrewsbury grabbed themselves another goal here to go even further ahead comes out to McCutcheon into McDonnell off to Berenen, who goes round the corner for Nystrom. Feeds it off to Taylor, who tries to whip a shot towards goal, but Beckles gets there ahead of him. Brennan into Taylor, feeds it in to Nystrom, who's managed to turn round in the box. Drives it at the keeper. His defender helps him to get it clear. Checks it off here for McDonnell into Marshall and he's bundled down on the edge of the box but the referee has given absolutely nothing there Barnsley now 2-0 up against South End getting the three points that they need at this point and Groib there nearly getting himself on the score sheet on that breakaway he was in an offside position Interception work there by Nystrom. He's managed to get in behind the defender. He'll drive it towards the goal. Tries to pick the shot, but defender just about had the legs on it. Taylor off to Brennan. 
who hits it first time it just wouldn't fall properly for him unlucky there for the Irishman McDonald's coming through at pace Smithy's coming through and <laughs> straight into the keeper who just cannot score Solihull cannot put a put one into the net at this stage how many chances does one team need to score a goal I think there was three opportunities in that one attack alone and there we have it the full time whistle Shrewsbury have absolutely turned Solihull over here at Damson Park and the home fans are not happy about it knowing that that could be the difference between automatic promotion and having to go through the playoffs. There's two games of the season left now. How will it turn out? I don't normally show you this screen, but 12 shots, 8 on target, 0 goals. Time for a few quick questions. Okay, so here's how it stands with just two games left to go in our season. We currently stand on 100 points, having played 44 games, which means we have two games left. We will face off against MK Dons and Oxford. Now, the Oxford game is extremely important because they are just ahead of us with 102 points. But even more important is the fixture between Shrewsbury and Barnsley. If Shrewsbury can beat Barnsley as they've just done to us then they really do hold the keys for our automatic promotion on top of that Portsmouth have played all of their games now and have 106 points Barnsley was still a game to play could accrue 106 points and with two games left we could also accrue 106 points so it could end up with the top three teams having 106 points and this coming down to goal difference the problem being we're five goals adrift of Portsmouth. So you know what that means. We've got to score some goals here in the last two games of the season. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 20 content. And I hope you'll be back to see the last games of the season in the next episode. But thanks for watching this one. I'm off to have a word with Nystrom to see if he can bag us some goals in that next game. So I'm out of here. No further questions, thanks. <laughs>